Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Cut the Tape, and we got a lot of stuff to open today. Oh boy, we've got Cyberverse, we got Creo, we've got Constructabots, we have Juice, we have... Candy Surprise, and we have G1 reissues, and some cards, man. We've got some cards, man. Let's start with the cards. All right, this is a first edition trading card booster pack from the very first set of Transformers character cards from... Who made this? I don't even, I don't even know. Wizards. Makes sense that Wizard would make it, right? Alright. So. If you... You know what? We're just going to open it. We're just going to open it like that. Oh, this is... This is really special. This is really special. Look, there's two pieces of plain cardboard in this. That's really special. I bet... I bet we're going to get a really good chase card in here. So let's see. Let's see. Oh, we got Hound. We got Hound. That's that's a good one. Let's see. That's his vehicle mode based off his classics chug version. And it's got a little hologram on this side. All right. All right. Let's open this set. Yeah. Use my knife. Use my knife like a big boy. They let me use knives now. All right, let's see. Let's see who we got. We're looking for that special card. Oh, we got debilitating crystal. Crystal that, that messes you up. That's a good card. Who else do we got? We got grenade launcher. When throwing a grenade is enough, you just launch it at some. That's a good card. Let's see if we can pull a really good chase card. Oh, bombing run with Thundercracker. You're going to choose an enemy character and move one damage counter to each of your planes. I don't know what that means. Crushing size. That's basically my body weight. When they ask me, how much do you weigh? I just say crushing size. Brainstorm. And it's Wheeljack thinking. And look, he's got all these things like that meme. You know, that lady who thinks and she's trying to do all the math. All right, we got two cards left. Let's see if we get one of our chase cards. Force field. Force field. Force field hands. Force field hands. Trail breaker. Or as he's known in this image, trail cutter. And let's see, this is our last card. Let's see if we get a chase card. <gasps> Handheld blaster! Oh my god, we did it! We did it! This is a $15,000 card. We got it. We got handheld blaster. That's, a, that's easily a $15,000 card. Wow. Oh my god. To think, I just had this sitting around. I'm going to go buy... I'm going to sell that. Go buy some more stuff to open. We've opened some of these before. Now, some of these you can still get in stores. I still find these in stores. The best place to find this is Walmart. In the juice section, it's usually next to a juice that has a little character topper on top. Uh, they don't have any Transformer toppers, but you can find these at Walmarts. Uh, now, these don't expire until August of 2021, but they haven't been produced, I think, for two years. So, you can still find them. There are 
I believe, six different items you can get. I actually have one over here because I've been like hunting these down. Okay, there's 10 different items you can get. And so far I have uh, Bumblebee, Sideswipe, uh, Grimlock, and I think Strongarm, and just the figures. I've never seen the heads. I've only seen the figures, never seen the heads. And they came bottled as Strong Arm, Bumblebee, Grimlock, Sideswipe, and Optimus. Makes sense. Those are the characters that exist uh, in this figure line. Let's see who I got. It's another Sideswipe. I got another Sideswipe. Can't win the lottery, lottery unless you play the lottery. But at least my kids get a, an apple drink. And, and this is made with 20%. Only 20% of this is juice. No wonder it tastes like crap. The rest is spring water, lemon juice, apple juice concentrate, hydrochloride, peroxide, and chernobylum. I don't know what chernobylum is. I'll give that to my kids. Have them put that in their face. All right. Let's move on to... So this is something I found at a dollar store. I found a couple of these. This is the first one I'm going to open. I've got one sealed. It's supposed to have a candy, it's a candy bag, mini poster, stickers, and surprise. Four in one. You got um, awesome trends, patches, wristbands, keychains, and more. I'm wondering what that surprise is. So there's some stickers. There, these are G1 themed. There's some candy. There's a mini poster and a surprise. Surprise can be a wristband, a keychain, maybe a figure. I don't know. I haven't seen anyone do a review on these at all. And I found a few of these and then I never found them again. So I believe I found these last year and it looks like it was produced by Rads from 2000. Looks like they had the license from 2009 to 2017 for Transformers. I found these last year, have not found them again. So I'm guessing these are rare at this point. And I think it was Dollar Tree that I found this at. All right, so we go our candy. I'll give that to the kids. We have our mini poster. Collect all 12 designs. All right. So now we know there's 12 things to get. There is a wristband, a keychain, a patch. And these are candy dispensers. I actually found these candy dispensers at Universal Studios. That's the only place I found them. Optimus Prime. All right, a little mini poster Optimus Prime. Let's see what we got. Hey, we got some stickers. Looks like the generic uh, evergreen G1 style guide-ish. We got Starscream. Oh! We got another Starscream and another Starscream. Boy, we're lucky. We got a Soundwave. Soundwave, Soundwave. We got generic Bumblebee. Three of each. We got some Optimus Prime and some Megatrons. And it's a generic Megatron. You can't quite tell what he turns into. Is it a tank? Is it a gun? It's just generic Megatron. What else do we have in here? And we've got the wristband. So, Bumblebee wristband. It says Bumblebee. 
says Autobots. I wonder if that's actual Cybertronian. Will it fit? It will not fit. I'm sure I can get it on there, but it won't fit. And it's actually a different design from here. So I'm guessing there's either 12 total, because I'm really hoping there's not 12 different wristbands, 12 different patches, 12 different keychains. That's gonna drive me crazy. If you find any more of these packs, please contact me. I am happy to buy them from you. Here's what they look like. I found this, I think at Dollar Tree. I checked uh, Dollar General and all the other places. Nothing else in here. I'll put these back in here. And these stickers are good for me to put on my new uh, laptop. Boom. All right. Constructabots. Now, I've recently gotten into Constructabots. I've had a bunch. I have all the Constructabots. And then I started getting second sets recently to open because I've never opened one. The first time I opened one was a few shows ago. I have never opened one of the bag ones. And I got this off eBay, $2.50. Amazing, $2.50. This is uh, Transformers uh, Drift. This is um, fourth movie. Yeah. This is fourth movie. Uh, there was a Hound, a Crosshairs. Uh, a lockdown. Uh, looks like there's a slug slag here. Uh, so I don't know how many were made in this size, but this is called Dinobot Riders Autobot Drift. Ride Dinobots. Oh, I think the Dinobots were the bigger ones. And these, some of these were hard to get. Some of these constructor pots where you can only get them in, in Canada, like the US never got the whole set. Um, just like Creos. There's a whole bunch of R.I.D. Creos. So it's a Ziploc bag. So that's cool. So if you have extra parts, you just put them back into the Ziploc bag. Ziploc it shut. So these... Unlike the large ones, I'm guessing don't transform on their own. Oh, they do. They do transform on their own. Fascinating. Should be a pretty quick build. We'll put him together real quick and then we'll move on to the next thing. Got our chest. Or is this our hip? Yep, this is our hip. This is our other hip. The wheel bone's connected to the hip bone. Looks like an arm. This is the other arm. This is my first movie constructor bot I'm putting together. The plastic feels a little different. These came out after the initial batch of constructor bots. Plastic feels a little softer. It doesn't feel brittle, like say, um, if you have a lot of thir a couple third party figures. Uh, I'm not trying to single anyone out uh, in particular, but I'll, I'm going to throw the name out there. Um, uh, if you have some fan toys figures, sometimes you get that really brittle plastic, where it'll break off and it'll like break into a shard that you can stab someone with. Uh, that's not what, I what I'm feeling. I'm feeling the opposite. I'm feeling like a pliable plastic. It still feels 
that if I put this, if I turn this ball joint too much, if I don't lube it up, it feels like it will come undone. Put this little Autobot symbol in here. These are great for customizers. I'm surprised the customizing community hasn't like picked up on these, especially for like the heads. All right, so there's Drift. Uh, not as cool as the big ones. The big ones are much more in line with like Lego Technic. I'm wondering if I should keep this bag or not. I might have another one. I will not keep this bag. I shall do away with it. So there we got a drift. And here comes the alien queen. And she's gonna... Eat him. Mmm, delicious. 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 Uh, let's try Cyberverse. This is the first uh, wave of the small Cyberverse figures, the legend size figures. These don't transform all the way. And it was very confusing because I didn't read that the first time I opened one of these. And I'm like, how do I put this in car mode? It's kind of like a stealth mode type of transformation. Remember Stealth Force from, oh yeah, this is, remember Stealth Force from the first, uh, the fourth, third movie, sorry. Dark of the Moon, where they were like, kind of had like a mask, Mobile Arbor Strike Command thing going. So these don't quite transform all the way. So, even though it looks like they want to, they're only a partial transformation. So there you have it. So Bumblebee kind of like, you know, this is like a McDonald's toy. That's really what this is. This is a McDonald's toy. Are these supposed to be held by other characters? I don't think so. But this is very much in line with like a McDonald's toy. That's what this feels like. Well, that's why we have ball joints so that we don't break our toys. Yet, items from G1 still survive. Yet, these things don't. So, it's got that weird bevel right there. What's interesting to me about this, it's got a lot of paint apps for its size and for its price point. Interesting. Uh, I found another Creo. I'm gonna open this one up. This is Grimlock. Now, these Creos are what I call the super bots. They're four characters in four different flavors. So you have your Grimlock, Optimus, Bumblebee, Sideswipe, they're heavily based off of R.I.D., but they're generic. So you have your armor up, which is just your standard colors for the four characters. 
Then you have your Blizzard Strike, which has a, a lot of clear plastic in it. It's like an Arctic mission. And then you have your Night Strike, which they all have a lot of black. And it's cool because you don't see a lot of themed deco like this. And I guess R.I.D., like the original Robots in Disguise, the American version of Bruticus had a, had like an Arctic theme to it. And then there was like a desert version as well. And remember he was called Baldigus. Ruination, ruination. So it's cool to see these themes. Um, I think I might've mentioned this before, but during the Bakon Wings of Honor set, that that's what we were shooting for to begin with. That's how I had pitched it to Brian Savage, uh, that this was a uh, secret strike force. So we can have mainline guys, we can have Optimus, Bumblebee, uh, Jazz, Prowl, but they were on like a covert mission. And it was supposed to be like um, G.I. Joe Night Force. So you have your standard Creo body. Here's Grimlock. Then we've got all the armor up pieces. And what I really like about this particular bubble, this is a really good stand. So if you're displaying figures and you need to put someone up in the back, elevated, this is a good stand for that. Yep, your instructions. Here's a better shot at all the flavors. This is also a little older. I had wished that I was more into this stuff when it first came out. Because, uh, yeah, I have a set sealed, but I don't have a full set to open. And, boy, I wish I did. It's also a point in my life where I was trying to save money and I wasn't thinking, well, I, I don't need two of everything. I'll get one uh, and then I'll get a second one of what I really like. And now here I am many years later, sometimes 10 years later, going, all right, let me try and find those guys I'm missing, which is how I came across this, these small constructor bots. I had never opened a Constructabot until just a few weeks ago. And now I'm all over them. And you, you want to know why. Because I'm really big into Lego. And it felt very Lego Technic. And it is. But I was never into Lego Technic. I'm all over the Creo stuff. I love the Creo stuff. But I wasn't a Lego Technic guy. I really, really like these armor ups. I think this is where they should have gone from the beginning with this. The packaging's cool. It's carded. I like that. They stand taller than a regular minifigure. If you're comparing it to Lego, which you should. And this is kind of like a 
this almost reminds me of like Bumblebee's flight pack for Action Master Bumblebee. I think this is one of the coolest ones. Yeah, I think this is the coolest one. This is the first Grimlock I've opened from this series. This is the coolest one out of all four. Definitely. All right. So let's end with some G1 reissues. This was available on Hasbro Pulse. It's, it's a weird piece. First of all, neither of these came like this in America. These have never been available in America in their G1 form. So this is a reissue, which hasn't even come out reissued in Japan, but here they are, reissued now in American style packaging. And in Japan, Frenzy did come carded by himself but never in America. He was always in a two-pack. So it's weird that not only are they getting reissued in this form, but look at the card. They're attached together. It's bizarre. All right. I like these cards, so I want to keep them. I mean, I have another one already put away. But it's, it's bizarre. Now, this is an old school thing. All right. I didn't cut it all the way. I just cut it enough where I can lift the bubble, take the pieces that I need out. That way you can kind of sneak them back in there if you ever wanted to. Oh, so that's interesting. So this is the gold version because it came in silver, but it also came in gold. The gold in G1 is harder to get, but here we have a gold version now with the silver chrome weapons. And it does have the metal feet. The G1 gold version had the plastic feet. And look at that, there's a cool little red dot on his head. I think what that red dot is supposed to mean is that he's really telling us his name's Rumble and not Frenzy. This is classic G1. Now I know it didn't originally come out for the Transformers line, but this is classic G1. Oh man, it looks like some of the chrome is already coming off. And the tolerance on this is not very good. All right. So that's not bad. It's my first time. Oh no, because Frenzy did come out before through Hasbro as a reissue. Yes, he did. In uh, Soundwave multi-pack. All right. Now, Noizu and Graffy. These are two of the hardest to get tapes out there. In, in G1-ness. Uh, last time I saw these sealed, I wanna say they went for about 4,000 a piece. Hmm. I believe there was a misassembling of these guys.
Maybe it, it might have been in the version that came with the Bumblebee. With the movie Bumblebee, the Camaro. That was a Comic-Con exclusive. Oh man, where did this go? I say these went here. Yeah. It's been a while. And now what's crazy is that these guys also combine to form a larger character. But I prefer them like this. There really is no excuse from Hasbro, 1980s Hasbro, why these didn't come out. You could have absolutely put out Blaster again. You could have put him out in blue as twin cast, even though he wasn't in the show, even though it was different than the other figures that was being released. There was no specific price point in the 1980s. It was, it was a different time. Figures would just come out and they all have different prices. Well, I will say I'm, I'm nowhere near as nervous transforming this as I would be the actual G1. The plastic is very durable on this version does not feel fragile at all. Feels, <laughs> I gotta say, it feels really good to be able to transform these and like if they break, it's like, ah, I'll get another one. You can't do that with the G1 versions. If they break, <laughs> you're, you're SOL. And for the life of me, I don't remember how these combine or <laughs> I would do it for you right now. But it's nothing uh, nothing to write home about. All right. There you have it. We opened a bunch of stuff today. Little stuff. We opened these. And then we opened this little huevo. Little egg. There you have it. It's good to play with your toys. It's really good to play with your toys. I kind of feel like this show has made me focus again on the fun part of collecting. Because collecting can be stressful. Playing with your toys reminds you that you do it because you love the toys. You love the characters. And that's what it should be about. All right. Well, guys, thank you for voting. To those of our uh, friends who voted, there is still time to register to vote for the next election. Voting is important, no matter what country you live in. Keep your hands clean. Wash them. Don't put your fingers in your mouth. Be kind to others. Wear a face mask. A face mask isn't a political statement. A face mask shows that you care about yourself and about other people. And if you don't care about other people, at least care about yourself. So remember, email us at cutthetape at tftalk.net. Check out all the shows on the TFYLP network. And I will see you next time. Be well.